Hello, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam Ortiz Pino, and today we are talking about does it cost more to not invest in something? Um, yeah, it's one of those things I hear every once in a while. Someone is struggling so much to get organized and or uh, start their business and all they can think about is the money involved. And so I wanted to talk about when it how to determine when to invest in something versus when it's not going to be worth it. Because if you don't invest in a solution, it can cost you so much more on, on all the other aspects of, of the situation. So a scarcity mindset will always take you to that place of that's more than I thought. I can't afford that versus an abundance mindset will say, I can't not afford to do that. And sometimes it's just a matter of looking at it a little bit differently. Um, you still get to choose what to spend money on, but it becomes more of an empowered choice when you realize that that money isn't a cost, it's an investment. Not everything is an investment, but many times the things you need to improve your life or to begin your business or to create some sort of transformation, there will be an investment involved. Um, that pays off in spades as you go. So understand that it's about connecting the value of the investment, what you're going to get out of it on the other end, not the actual um, dollar amount that it costs up front, right? So for example, I have clients that on average save $400 a month on groceries once we do their pantry and their kitchen because they stop wasting food. They know what they have. They know the process and a system for purchasing their food and it saves them $400 a month. So if I charge them, uh, let's say 2,500 to get there and they save um, 400 a month, they're going to recoup that money within a year and then save the rest of their lives. Right. And if you save two hours a day, same scenario, how much does it cost? But you're going to save two hours a day for the rest of your life, right? So think of it that way. What can you do with two hours? What could you do with $400? That's, that's where you want to start connecting the value to the actual investment. So other things I see come up is you end up making do with a bunch of cheap stuff that you have to replace over and over and over instead of getting the actual solution you need out of just the right product that might actually cost a little bit more up front, but you enjoy using, you use it for a longer period of time. You don't have to replace it as often because you've got the right one. Um, there's the time waste that I just mentioned. You know, what if uh, one of the solutions causes more work? And so you're wasting time or it's hard to use so that you waste time having to set it up every time instead of having the right solution that that takes care of itself. Um, and sometimes, you know, th those are very uh, tied together, the wasting time, the making do and the cheaping out by buying the least expensive one. Uh, what all I'm saying is buy the thing that's going to solve the problem whether that is some investment with a coach or an organizer or the actual product that you're using to solve the solution. Sometimes just spending slightly more makes all the difference, right? Um, it's about choosing the right solution, not the cost of the solution. Other things though that, that come up in terms of the value proposition of when to spend money on something is, is it something you're is there something you're putting off until you afford this thing or solve this problem? And so in the meantime, you're not bringing in extra income because you aren't starting that business or you aren't um, parking the car in the garage until you clean out the garage. If you're not investing in the cleaning out the garage and the car is outside in the meantime, your paint job's getting wrecked from the sun and the weather. See what I'm saying? There's a, uh, things that put off can cost you more in the long run. So taking care of things now, you know, those shingles on the roof. So your roof doesn't leak um, the landscaping, the yard. So the erosion doesn't take hold those kinds of things. When do you want to invest some time and money in something to solve the problem or keep the problem from getting worse in the long run? 
Um, and then there's the cost of your energy, right? What's the value of your energy? How many times are you going to look at something and be frustrated and worried and bummed out about it before you take care of it? What if taking care of it allowed you to re-energize yourself that allowed you to take care of the next thing on the list and the next thing and the next thing? That's all I'm saying. When do you invest time, money, energy into something that will pay off forever on the other end, right? Making those kinds of connections and transformations are the exactly the things you should invest money in. So figure out how to determine your own rate of return on investment. Um, and that can help you make the decision, um, make a more transformative and investment decision versus uh, based on cost. It's about the results you're going to get, the value of spending that money now. All right. Hope that helps. Um, it can be applied to all different kinds of areas of your life. Um, but that's it for now. And I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to follow, to comment, um, and uh, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a single more than organized Monday and tell all your friends, because it's just more fun to do this stuff together. And in the meantime, <sighs> go take your laundry out of the dryer and have a delightful day. <laughs>